Joining us now from Washington, Republican Congressman Steve Stivers of Ohio, who serves as chairman of the National Republican Congressional Committee. Congressman, thanks very much for joining us. Good morning, Maria. What's wrong with this bill? Well, uh, you know, this bill is a Senate bill, and we're going to respect the Senate's process. The Senate respected our process. I think they've actually made some improvements to our bill. They've, they've uh, made the pre-existing condition uh, coverage even stronger. Uh, so, I, you know, I'm going to let the Senate work out their bill, but I think they've actually improved on the House bill. I think it's a, another step forward. Well, it's not, it's, it's not the step forward, though, that you want, right? You've got four of your colleagues pushing back saying they will not sign this bill. They will not vote for it. Well, every bill is a negotiation, Maria, until people get to yes. And uh, so uh, most people don't take the opening offer when they're buying a car or when they're passing a bill. You know, you see how President Obama reacted to the bill, and there are, there are folks who are saying that his attacks on the bill aren't necessarily true. How do you respond to what he's saying about the bill? Well, uh, his attacks on the bill are not necessarily true. In fact, uh, the bill strengthens protections on pre-existing condition, and it, uh, it uh, brings back the essential health benefits uh, that uh, he attacks in his post. Uh, you know, the president uh, should do what most presidents do, and that's go uh, enjoy his life because he had his time in the sun, and now it's time for other folks. Congressman, do you think this bill can get done by the July 4th deadline as Mitch McConnell wanted it to, to be done, just given that there's already four senators lost, one of them who golfed with the president all day long and who knows the medical space more than, than most people in Congress? I mean, it's Senator Rand Paul. Do you think it can get it done? Well, I think uh, one of the things we learned out of the House process is artificial deadlines are a bad idea. So uh, I don't think they should have an artificial deadline. I think they should try to get this bill done when it's ready. Uh, and so they need to get, uh, and when it's ready, that means they have 51 votes, uh, potentially including the vice president, hopefully not. David Webb. You know, Congressman, I like the debate. I like the idea that different ideas are going on the table. It's completely different than the Democrat process. And I'm with you. Artificial deadlines don't work. However, the messaging on this, and we talked about that earlier, is an issue. And it's not about messaging for the sake of marketing, but pointing out the points of the bill and how they will affect people, and then working around the CBO score. They got it wrong in Obamacare. Uh, how are you and the Senate going to work together to make sure you inform the people that this is actually the points that are good for you? This is what we're going to fix. And shouldn't you include the HHS portion of this? Because that's not being discussed. Yeah, that's a great point because uh, there's a lot of misinformation out there about uh, this bill, about the House bill. And uh, we do need to take charge of the communications and make sure people know that uh, this bill aims to make health care and insurance more affordable for people who are healthy, yet protect people who are sick. It's really that simple, um, but it's complicated at the same time. Well, let's talk about taxes for a second. Fox Business Network's Charlie Gasparino reported this morning that House leadership, including Speaker Paul Ryan, showing, no, showing signs now of softening the stance on the border adjustment tax. Where are you in terms of common ground on the tax portion uh, of, uh, of this and that border adjustment tax in particular? Well, on 90% of the bill, the House Republicans are 100% together. Uh, border adjustment tax is something that in concept I like. I I've been a little skeptical on its ability to actually get done, but I think there's becoming a consensus that uh, the border adjustment tax, tax just does not have the critical mass in the House or the Senate uh, to be included. And so the things that will be included in this bill is a lower rate. Uh, we, it will be for C corporations and pass-through entities together. We will we'll do holistic tax reform. We will simplify our tax system. Uh, I think it's going to be a good bill that's going to help the American people, help supercharge the American economy. So I'm excited about getting this thing done. Um, but we still have a few more months to uh, coalesce. And uh, but I feel like everybody's moving the same direction finally. Yeah. And I, I don't think the border adjustment tax as it's currently configured can be in the bill. Maybe there's a way to change it around and include it or maybe we will go a different direction. So, I That's mean, still a, a work in progress. Everybody's moving in the right direction except the four senators that have pushed back on health care and everything gets backed up if you don't get health care and you don't get that vote. Uh, 
over the short term. So you're the chairman of the National Republican Congressional Committee. Your party won two big special elections this week, and yet you're not able to get legislation over the finish line. Can you walk us through how you see this happening? What's well, the path, given these four senators' pushback? Well, again, uh, I think we need to not let artificial deadlines uh, create the same problems in the Senate that they did in the House. When we had artificial deadlines, we hit brick walls in the House. When we said, we're going to wait, take a step backward, get the votes on uh, passing this bill, and then pass it, which is how you're supposed to pass legislation, we got it done. Right. So, so, so what are you uh, saying? So what are you saying? So my, le my lesson to the Senate is stop talking about artificial deadlines. It gets people on cable news talking mm. about how things aren't getting done, well, when frankly, <laughs> the story should be that most senators are behind this mm. and that there's a few people that we still need to work with and that's what's going on in the Senate but do I think they're gonna get it done by July 4th probably not but uh, that's an artificial deadline and uh, we don't need artificial deadlines well, we just uh, need progress. Is, is 2017 an artificial deadline? I mean we're, we're no. just taking a look at the fact that you've got an election coming up in 2018 it and your, your colleagues on the left want to impeach the president, and they are, they're hoping you get nothing done. So he 2017, reform, artificial deadline? No, health care reform and tax reform need to happen this year, uh, but because, frankly, we all know the silly season starts next year, and it's election right. season. Right. But, but an, an artificial <laughs> deadline is to say we have to do it this next week I understand. or these next two weeks, but, but in concept, we all know it needs to happen and frankly, I hope it will be retroactive to January 1st of 2017 uh, so that we can start to get our economy moving faster. All right. We'll be watching, Congressman. Thanks very much. Thanks we so much, Maria. We will certainly uh, watch the process. Steve Starr is joining us there.